welcome to Justin's Bass Lessons number four. Today we're gonna break down a pretty tricky little slap line, but the hardest part is doing it fast. And if you can't do it up to speed, try doing it slowly. You could definitely learn something from it, even if you're not playing at full speed. Okay, so slowly the line goes like this. Okay, so the first part's a really standard 16th note little lick that I use all the time. So it starts with thumb open, left hand is going to do a mute, just set the fingers down on the string, that's all. And then another thumb, but this one muted on the fourth string, and then a pluck on the G. So one, E, and a. Uh. After you do that pluck, you're going to do a second pluck with your middle finger, so it's going to be a double pluck. So it's. Then you're going to do another one of those, just push your left hand down on the string just to the point where you don't need like a really, really big percussive sound, you just need a little something to give it a mute sound. Then you do one more thumb pluck. So the first two beats is one E and a, two E and a. So I like to do this stuff in little chunks, so just do that much and try looping it. One E and a, two E and a, one E and a, two and uh, okay, so here's one of the big tricks about this. On the three, on the downbeat, you're just gonna hit a big open string. But what you're gonna do, you're gonna go up to this chord shape up here, and this is gonna be on the G string 19, on the D string 19, and on the A string uh, 18. I don't know my fret numbers as well up high. So what you're gonna do is pinky is gonna be on G, ring is gonna be on D, middle is going to be on A, and what you're going to do is you're going to just do a left hand hammer to get the first voice of that chord. Then after that you're just going to do some strumming. All the strumming is is just I try to hit the fingernail so it's kind of like a hard part, kind of like a pick. And when I do up I just do the soft part of my finger, I mean what are you going to do? Kind of like that. But the first one Here's the trick to this. The first one I do hammer on, and the reason for that is because when I hit the downbeat on three, I'm hitting an open E, so it's kind of hard to hit that three, and then make that jump, and then immediately start strumming when you're doing it fast. So a trick here is I'm using my left hand to hammer that first note, and that gives me just a split second that I need to get my, hand, my right hand in position to start strumming. So it's like... Then you're going to repeat that pattern, and then again on three we're going to hit that open E, but this one's going to be an eighth note, and then on the an of three and the uh of three we're going to do a pull off, nine to seven on the D, three and a, like that. And then on four, middle finger is going to hammer on the eighth fret, three and a four, like that. And then for the an and the uh of four, we're gonna do a hammer on the seventh fret of A, and then we're gonna do a pull off. So that's like an uh. So the second part is just three and a four and a one. Three and a four and a three and a four and a one. So the first time all the way through, it's gonna go like. So the second time is going to be almost the same thing, except the second time, after you do the strum thing up at the 19th fret, you're going to go down here and you're going to do this like. So that's a full measure, that lick. So it's going to start on the one, one, E, and uh, like that. So that's going to be pluck the 9th fret on the G string, then you're going to thumb the open A, and then hammer on 7th fret, and then you're gonna pluck open D, and then hammer on 7th fret. So all that is, is on the 9th fret of the G string you're gonna pluck, and then you're gonna thumb open A, and hammer on 7th fret, and then do a thumb mute, so 1, E, and uh. So the 2 is just gonna be pluck and open D, 
hammer, 7th fret on D, do another thumb mute, and then pluck open G. So the first two beats are going to be one E and a, two E and a. And then you're going to come back in on the and of three, and you're going to do that same lick you did at the end of the first one. Like that. And then it just starts over.